Hello my beautiful soul, this is Moonseeker of Light Guardian and today I have a reading for you that is a message from your divine counterpart. So let's see what your divine counterpart has for you today, what they want you to know from their headspace and heart space and 3D space. So let's start with the headspace. What is going through their mind right now? What is going through their mind right now when it comes to you on this connection? It doesn't matter how far I run, you are always with me. So your person is having some harsh truths come through to him or her. They have been trying to run from you. They've been taking their time to really distance themselves from you. They might have even physically moved away from you. But what they're only realizing now is that it doesn't matter how far they run. You are always with them. Because you too are two halves of one soul. You can't outrun each other. You can't run away from each other. It's like trying to run away from yourself, basically. And they're realizing this now. And I f I f I'm feeling like they're really struggling now. They're really struggling with this realization that, oh my God, this person is a part of me. This person is, we're so deeply intertwined and connected that... Um, it would it's foolish of me to, to try. I've been trying, but it's really like, what am I even trying to do here? Loving you no longer scares me. And this has led to them being like, you know what? Loving you is like loving myself. I'm no longer afraid to love myself. Therefore, I'm no longer afraid to love you. I am going to love you openly and freely and authentically in a way they haven't done before. I am going to string words together and they will make sense to you. They're also going to now start communicating with you in a different way, in a way that they haven't communicated with you before. They have really had a lot of aha moments. Moments where they're like, okay, I understand this now. I accept this now. I'm going to deal with this now. They've dealt with it, gone through it, went through their heart and their mind. And now they're like, you know what? Why was I so afraid of this love? Why was I so afraid of you? Because you and I, we're home, we're one. So that no longer scares me. So I'm no longer afraid of loving you. So now I'm going to put my actions, my words, I'm going to put them together. I'm going to paint you that picture. I'm going to tell you my story, your truth, our tr story, our truth. And I'm going to find a way to make you understand me. I'm not going to stumble over my words I'm not going to be misunderstood I'm not going to uh, not try to be made myself uh, understood I'm going to it's going to make sense to you because this time I'm going to be speaking from my soul from our soul because it's the same soul bottom of the deck here we have what were the odds of us ever meeting and they're like, I feel like they're like, you know, like really, what were the odds of us meeting after all this time, after all these lifetimes? But the thing is, as two halves of one soul, the odds are always in your favor. Because at the end of the day, you guys get pulled to it towards each other. And that's what that is. Okay, let's see what's going on in their heart space going on in their heart space well in the heart space they're like I'm still a mess and that's okay you can still be a mess you can still be putting yourself back together but at least you have clarity you have truth now you know what's what and that's all that matters I thought I could do better this is why they perhaps ran that they, they thought they could Find something as good as this or even better. But something that didn't scare them on this kind of level. Because before they didn't know how soul connected you were. How this was a soul connection. It just wasn't the right time. No, it wasn't. Because at that time, they were not aware. They were not awake to this connection. Now they are. I wasn't strong enough. It wasn't the right time and they weren't strong enough. Because they hadn't learned everything they needed to learn. But now they have. Now they can. 
I thought I didn't have to say the words, I was wrong, I love you. Bottom of the deck here, they want you to know this from their heart space. They love you. So they had they had some they had some things that had to go through before they could come around to you, before they could bring this and be a part of your journey the way that you are part of their journey. They're still a mess right now. They haven't put all the pieces together and that's okay. They're, we are all ever evolving. We're all uh, ongoing projects. So let's get some messages from the material world. Something they want to say to you but can't find the strength or courage to say. I think I saw something flip. Did I see something? Yes, I did. So we have here, I owe you. I owe you an explanation and owe you a debt of gratitude. I owe you so much for awakening me on this journey. But I don't know how to come and approach you and say this, but don't you worry. I will come to you and I will make put words together that will make sense to you. I like you more than I like cats. You are you are the f they like you more than anything that is the cutest, cuddliest thing they've ever seen. Like you more than anything than that is their favorite thing in the world, favorite non-human thing in the world. If that makes sense. If I let you in, will you stay? There's still some kind of doubts there that they're afraid that you're going to reject them. They think that perhaps now that they are going to open themselves up and show you who they truly are, that you might not stick around. But they want you to know that they love you. I've already got this. I already know this. But they want to say this to you in the material world as well, but they really don't know how to do it. They don't have the strength or the courage. But about the deck here, we have I made you breakfast. They want to be that person that gets to make you breakfast. Maybe they were that person that used to make you breakfast, but they want to be that person again. They want to be that person that's there for you in the morning, that's there for you at night, that gets to ask you, how was your day? How was your sleep? They want to be that person for you. They want to be... They want to be in your life, full stop, basically. So, yeah, those are your messages from your person. Before I finish this reading for you, I want you to pick a number. One, two, or three. And that's going to be your personal message from your person. So let's see here. One, two, or three. This is number one, number two, and number three. Bottom of the deck, message for everyone here. I just wasn't ready for you. And we already got that, that message. They just wanted you to know that again, they just weren't ready for you. So don't take what happened between the two of you personally, because they weren't ready. They were so ill prepared for you. They didn't know what to do with you. They didn't know what to do with their feelings. They didn't know what to do with everything that was going on with them. It was overwhelming and they got overloaded and they ran. They just weren't ready for you. Okay, number one. Pause if you need to. But number one, this is your message. Is it possible to forgive and forget? So your person wants to know, can you put everything that happened behind you guys and move forward? Can they come and ask for your forgiveness and you can let it go, like truly let it go, not bring it up again and throw it in their faces every once in a while, but just truly let it go, put it in the past, leave it in the past and move forward. Number two. I don't know if I can meet your expectations. So your person has this idea that you have these expectations of them. You want them to be a certain person, perhaps. And this is... Um, what did I see? No, never mind, sorry. Uh, they have this... This is perhaps why they still have doubt here. Um, they think that perhaps... 
you want to be you want them to be a certain way but i feel like this is just them this is their own limiting beliefs thinking that they need to be someone because they've seen this person they've seen this is how people are this is how divine masculines are this is how divine feminines are they need to be someone else for you so having doubts here we're thinking i can't meet your expectations but really they cannot meet their own expectations they have in their head because they're flawed those are false expectations number three I miss you regardless of how things seem. Your person might have put on a very good um, poker face, act, whatever it is. They have been really making sure you don't see them broken or sad or regretful. But they want you to know that they do miss you. They have been missing you. They have been really playing it up on social media, perhaps, that they are like living the life, running away from you, doing whatever. But in truth, what they what it is is that they miss you. They miss you, your energy, your body, your your mind. Um, and this is why they're gonna come back together. This is why for all of you, they're gonna come back and they're gonna make themselves understood. You're gonna finally it's finally gonna make sense to you that I feel for some of you, they didn't you you might have thought that they talked a lot of gibberish. You didn't understand what they were saying. It was just like words. And they were all like, you know, what the hell are they saying? But they're going to make themselves understood. Now they're going to make themselves, they're, they're, they're going to make their intentions clear. So guys, thank you so much for watching. This is all I had for you today. If you did like this reading, please like, comment, subscribe, share if you feel so inclined. I'll talk to you ne next time, guys. Bye.